Hi, I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks, and today we're going to be looking at a couple of Italians. We've got the XQ35 Pro, and we've also got the XG35. We'll start off by looking at a few of the common features, but stay tuned because there will be lots of through the lens footage to help you judge which Italian is right for you. Now, if you believe that less is sometimes more, then you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the cost of this Talion XQ35. It's less than £2,000. Around five years ago, an equivalent spec thermal scope would have set you back 50% more. And there's no comparison in terms of what you get for your money. And the weight is minimal too, uh, under 840 grams with a mount and a battery but its compact and low profile shape is probably the most notable feature of the Talion that's under 30 centimeters in length but it's definitely not minimal on battery power the XQ35 Pro will give you up to nine hours of battery power whereas the XG will give you around seven hours and they do come with two batteries which are really easy to swap over so if you're out for a long time, not a problem. If immediacy of controls are important, they don't come better designed than the Talion. Everything is ambidextrous, including the lens cap. There's a, there we are, there's a throw lever on top. And when that's aligned, that shark fin, that's set at around about 70 meters. So even before you lift the rifle to take aim, you can set the focus. There's an abundance of digital controls right here by your eye. Perfectly positioned, there's no long reach and no ambiguity about whether you've pressed the right button when it's dark or you can't feel your fingers. This button zooms in steps, but once selected, you can also adjust it up or down in precise silent increments to get the level of detail you need. Even better, you can zoom full screen or just this bit to help you decide if it's safe to take a shot. And a quick tap here accesses the quick menu for fine tuning the picture characteristics to the environment, using the dial to move you up through the options and making your selection with a menu tap. A long press on the menu, the same as every Pulsar device, brings up your main menu. Just to give you a snapshot of the kind of functionality you get with Pulsar rifle scopes, you can choose your reticle. There's static and ballistic options that are scalable, you can control the colour and the brightness. And zeroing, thanks to Pulsar, is as simple as taking a shot, freeze framing, and then shifting that red cross from the point of aim over to the point of impact. They call it one shot zeroing. You can even select eight different colour palettes. add audio to your video and do things like switch on the accelerometer so your Italian tells you when your rifle's not level and can automatically power down when it's upright being carried over your shoulder to conserve battery life so far you've seen the quality of the Italian XQ35 Pro which is an entry level into thermal side by side here's what you get if you upgrade to the XG35 the XG's native mag of times two can digitally zoom up to 16 times compared to the XQ, which starts at two and a half and zooms up to 10. And that leads us to the main reason why you might opt the XG over the XQ. The XG gives you a 640 x 480 12 micron pixel sensor for supreme detail and a greater capacity to zoom in. That's versus the 384 x 288 17 micron in the XQ. Although the cheaper XQ is pro because its sensor has larger pixels and that comes into its own in poor weather conditions. So if you have a tendency to be out in the rain, early morning mist or fog, the sub 25 millikelvin performance of the XQ35 Pro makes it a serious contender. And the final thing to note with the XG, you get nearly two degrees more field of view. 
So that's the Pulsar Talion XQ35 Pro and the Pulsar Talion XG35. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or to find out more about either of these Talions, visit tj-fieldsports.co.uk. I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks. Thanks for watching.